Okay, I'm Peter VK3YE, and AK3YE is my call sign. And I thought I'd do a quick chat on the four type of amateur radio rules that aren't things that you would study on because they aren't in the official curriculum, but you probably still need to know about them or that they exist. And I use exist in a very loose term. I'll just uh, go through um, the full rules. They all start with the letter G and then we'll open it up for discussion and, uh, and chat later on. And a lot of this is to do with perceived rules. Anyway, and a lot of it is some of it's superstition, some of it's law, some of it's rules that don't really exist. But the four rules, um, and these are not the ones that you will see in the study manuals. Um, the four Gs. The first ones are the grey areas. Um, sometimes the official rules are confusing. There might be technology that has come in and the official rules haven't caught up, as there might be a new mode or whatever. Um, and the, um, the sort of grey areas. So you don't quite know what they are. So that's the first G. Second G are the rules that are gone. Uh, a lot of people in amateur radio have been around for a long time. They might be have studied on a book like this. This is an Australian book that was put out by the Postal and Telecommunications Department in 1978. Anyway, this has a lot of rules that don't apply now. They're gone rules, yet there are some amateurs that are around and they say, oh, you can't do this or, or this is how you must do it. But they get all their experiences and their learnings from this old book, which in a lot of ways is out of date as a lot of things have changed. So that's the Second thing, the gone rules. Then you've got what you could say a generated rules or gossip. These are rules that don't really exist, um, but some people carry on like they do exist and they might instruct newcomers as in, you know, they, they set themselves up as the authority. They say that, you know, this is illegal or whatever. And you actually look at the real rules and they don't mention anything about it. So just be a bit mindful if you're on the air or if something's, um, um, if you hear people opining about the rules, always look them up and seek independent verification because not all of what you hear on the air is actually truly the rules. And so that's generated or gossip rules. Then there's what you might call the fourth type of rule and that's, I suppose you could say, it's the good rule. It's the detailed stuff that is not covered in the official rules, but it's still worth uh, worth following. And that is the gentleman's agreement. Um, things like band plans, for instance. In the United States, it's a little bit different because on HF, the FCC tells you um, where you may or may not operate SSB. In other countries, it's a bit different. It's... Um, set up by amateurs, the conventions are that in HF, you've got CW at the bottom end of the HF band, then you might have a slice for digital modes, then at the top end you've got SSB AM voice mode. So these sorts of things are in band plans and they are gentlemen's agreements. So that's the fourth rule. And that actually does have a rationale because if you were operating incompatible modes in different frequencies, then there's greater source of interference. So good idea to educate yourself on them and follow them. In Australia, the WIA website is um, has information about the band plans. Um, but gentlemen's agreements, other things um, that might not be specific in the regulations, but it's worth following. So they're the full basic uh, I was going to say unwritten, but they're not all completely unwritten because things like band plans are in fact written down. Um, but often they are the stuff of 
legend stuff, the grey areas that people are not sure of, the gone rules, the old timers that haven't updated their learning to the new rules, the generated or gossip things, things that are completely um, made up but people speak as if they're an authority and that's false, and the gentleman's agreements, which are the things that it is a good idea knowing about. So um, you can have all sorts of things like on social media there is a thing about um, I've got a two-letter call sign and should you know, someone was trying to sell them and um, two-letter call signs and something and there was all sorts of you know controversy and argy bargy and squabbling over that. So um, just thought I'd uh, have a, a quick um, mention of that. Um, quite a few people are watching and a few comments. So hello to TNCT, VK4LA and Michael Bell and uh, VE7KWZ. So that's pretty much all I've got to say. If there's any questions or uh, other things, then um, um, I'll answer them. Otherwise, we'll make it a short one. Okay, yeah, that's uh, uh, not seeing anyone else. So uh, uh, thanks all for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.